In this video, we are going to talk about these following topics. You can turn to any of them according to your own situation. Part one: Why we shred the files. Part two: How to do that. Part three: The difference between delete, wipe, erase, shred, and format. We wipe hard drive to entirely erase all the information on the hard drive and make the deleted data unable to be recovered. But what if we just want to make the particular file or folder disappear permanently? In that condition, we need to shred files or folders to completely erase them instead of just delete. If we do not read or write to the partition, the file data information is still retained in the hard disk. Therefore, it is easy to recover the files through some hard disk management tools or data recovery software. File shredding is to completely erase the file, such as rewriting the area where the source file is located with the number 0 or 1, so that the source file is completely deleted and no one will know your privacy. So now we know the purpose of file shredding is number one, erase important top secret or private files to prevent from being recovered. Number two, delete virus files to prevent infection. Number three, forcibly shred files that cannot be deleted. Then, how to shred the individual files? With Alme Partition Assistant's new feature, Shred Files, you can easily complete this operation. After files are shredded, some data recovery tools might recover some items, but these recovered files are renamed randomly and show zero byte can't be opened. You can delete a file without erasing it, erase a drive without wiping it, shred a file without deleting it, and wipe hundreds of files at once that were already deleted. Confused? I'm not surprised. These four terms, wipe, shred, delete, and erase might sometimes be used interchangeably, but they shouldn't be. Each word implies something different being done to a file, folder, or even space that looks empty on a hard drive, flash drive, or some other storage device. Here's how these concepts differ and why it's important that you understand exactly how they do. Delete. Hide me, but I'll be here if you really need me. The word delete is one we use a lot. Here's the truth. When you delete something, be it on your computer, smartphone, digital camera, or anywhere else, you don't remove it from existence. You just hide it from yourself. The actual data that makes up whatever you deleted is still there, but the space it was occupying is now marked as an area where the operating system can start storing new files to override the old ones. Deleted files, especially ones that were recently deleted, are easily to get back with data recovery software, much of which is freely available online. So when you delete a file, you don't erase it, you just make it hard to find. If you want to truly erase data, you need to actually erase the data. Erase? Are you sure? You'll never see me again. The term erase is what most of us are probably after when we get rid of or try to get rid of files. Erasing something, at least in the technology world, implies that it's gone for good. Unless you never want to use the hard drive, memory card, flash drive, or whatnot again, wiping or scrubbing the data is what you want to do. So when you erase a file, you make it impossible to get back. In many ways, wiping data and scrubbing data are identical ways of erasing data. The main difference between the two is the scope of the erasing. Wipe. I'm going to erase everything. When you wipe a hard drive or some other storage device, you erase everything that's currently on it, as well as anything you've previously deleted that might still exist. 
Programs that can wipe entire drives are often referred to as data destruction software programs. They work by overwriting every divisible part of the drive, used or otherwise, via one of several data sanitization methods. So, when you wipe a hard drive, you completely and permanently erase everything on it. Shred. I'm going to erase this and only this. When you shred a piece of data, usually one or more files or folders, you erase whatever it is you selected and only those items. Shredding individual files, like wiping entire drives, erases data by overwriting the space with some pattern of ones and zeros. Programs that do this are called file shredder programs. So, when you shred files, you completely and permanently erase them. What about formatting? Does it delete or erase data? If you've ever formatted a drive before, you might have been under the impression that it's one way to truly erase a drive. That may or may not have been the correct impression. In any version of Windows, a quick format is always a fancy way of deleting, not erasing the files on the drive. That's part of the reason it's so fast. In Windows XP, the format process, no matter how you do it, is just a whole drive delete. The reason a normal format takes so long is because it's checking the drive for issues. After watching this video, you may know the difference between them now. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more computing knowledge? Just click the links below. Don't forget to subscribe us and leave comments. Let me know what you want to see.